Hi, my loves. Thank you so much for visiting my channel. I really hope that you are having a beautiful and an amazing day. If you are new to my channel, welcome. And if you are returning, thank you for all of your love and support. I really appreciate it. This is a timeless collective reading for the sign of Sagittarius. Something here to, um, uh-oh. <laughs> That's an uh-oh. <laughs> there are things to celebrate here, but look, you have community behind it is deceit and storm warning. Okay. Journey strategy indecision okay yeah all tied up so of course with endings there are no beginnings um you could definitely have a community a group of people to be friends family obviously hidden enemies and such that um would like to see you possibly go through something because perhaps right now you have a lot of victory and success in your life which is very beautiful here a man holding a heart some of you guys are about to fall madly in love with yourself um this could actually be a a man specifically um uh, whether in feminine or masculine energy but there is a man who is about to have a victory and success in their life i definitely feel like someone here is detaching themselves from like I said, a group of friends, family members, um, a job, just some type of situation that has had a person a bit stuck and stagnant. Here is cornucopia. All right. Keep in mind, he could be a she, she could be a he. This could be anyone, though. But for some of you, you um, you have a very beautiful connection coming. Look, the door to value cornucopia, man holding a heart, the sun and victory. So, yeah, the cards are confirming what I've already said. And then you have here patience. OK. At the bottom of the deck here, you have the community card, deceit, and contract. So there are people in your community, and keep in mind, this could be karmic friends, family members, past lovers, or whomever. These people were pretty much like, they have a contract to try and rob, steal, kill, and destroy. But it's very clear here with the energy and even how the cards are falling out. This is something that is happening you know, to you or around you or it's being projected towards you, but you don't really need to focus on it. You have so much beautiful stuff that's here for you to focus on. It's like right now, you need to rest and rejuvenate because you're headed through the door to personal healing and happiness, okay? Um, the reading that I did yesterday, I was saying, you know, it's like taking your, your training wheels off and understanding that there, there really aren't any shackles that are holding you down anymore. Um... It's just a, a, a matter of what's on the brain at this point. Like, don't allow past situations or any situation, honestly, to hold you back because you have really, really great things that are coming towards you. So some of you right now, you could be feeling like you need to just re relax. Just be easy with yourself. Be gentle with yourself. Don't, um, don't feel like it's a problem for you to want to, you know, sit down, chill, and relax. Even if you feel like you kind of want to go into a bit of hermit mode for some self-reflection, Nothing is wrong with it. Um, it's sort of like you're being prepared for a season of a lot of victory, a lot of rewards, recognition, and success. All right. Some of you definitely, you know, can experience, you can expect a lot of improvements with your um, security, your stability, and your love life. The Eight of Pentacles is here. Yeah. It's like you finally, you've put in a lot of work. Okay, you've invested a lot in mastering something for yourself. Okay, and this could have been something that was very stressful for you, but you have here the sign and the ace of pentacles and the nine of wands. Yeah, the eight of cups and then the lovers and the empress. I'm telling you, um, here's the star, the magician, the ten of pentacles, and then the hermit is here. Someone probably has their eye on you or someone is paying very close attention to some of you guys and they're seeing how you carry yourself, how you um, own, operate and manage just things in your life. And I feel like someone has become very fond of you. OK, this could be someone that, you know, already it doesn't necessarily have to be someone that you have a lot of history with. It definitely could be someone from the past, like I said, or just someone that, you know, um, it could be a friend or anyone, but I do feel like someone is definitely noticing how you have been on like perhaps your own soul journey and, um, sorry about that. And you have come into this time of having a lot of overall just peace and abundance and somebody I feel does want to come in and give to you equally. 
Okay, the Eight of Pentacles with the Nine of Swords here and the Sun. Someone here I feel is definitely going through an awakening. And I feel strongly that this is specifically a man. Okay. This happens, this feels like a divine masculine who is a an actual man who is getting, I'm hearing, going back to the basics. This person had with there's two nines here. They've gone through a lot as the wounded warrior where they've had to learn things and go through many test trials and tribulations but i feel like this person has been working very hard it's like um someone here has definitely gone through like a spiritual awakening and the ace of pentacles is here this person wants to make you a stable offer for many of you to go on a journey with them now this to me it definitely feels like a journey i don't feel like um this is not like microwave type of love. <laughs> it's not just going to come. It won't unfold just overnight. This is something here where it looks like true love because you have the empress and the lover. So this is saying that someone definitely could have had a choice with the lovers. They're choosing a they're choosing their divine feminine, the person that they feel is is their destiny, the person that they've manifested or the person that they feel have the tools and the resources that can actually allow them to manifest a lot of abundance in their life. And I mean abundance in all areas. I'm not referring to just like financial. Um, someone here is seeing a divine feminine as someone that they truly want to build a life and a future with. They feel like by entering, by offering their heart, they can actually go through the door to value. This is a situation though where you will have to have patience or you've had a lot of patience. This this is something though, it's real, it's it's true. I definitely get that vibe like someone they want to do things the right way, but the sun and victory cornucopia here. This has a lot to do with all of the gold that I see with your life purpose. This is a lot of like solar plexus energy. It's what you're truly passionate about. I feel like you have a person that is very, very passionate about you. They're very passionate about this brand new beginning or the opportunity to just be in your life. They they see it as an opportunity, not as in like they're an opportunist, but it's an opportunity to have a life or a lifestyle with you that they don't want to miss out on. Yeah, the five of pentacles is here clarifying the eight of pentacles and the nine of swords. So this is a situation where someone definitely could have been working really, really hard. They may not have been very open, honest, um, or that upfront about what they were dealing with in the past. I do feel like someone here, th this could be someone that they made a small offer towards you or some type of gesture. That's the knight of cups to move forward, but maybe they had other options or they were very confused about something. They're making a judgment call now to put something that is toxic down or to leave it behind because someone has been in their head and very confused, but this is coming to an end. So here with this new moon in Capricorn, somebody is definitely removing all blockages that they have in their in their head space and they're choosing now to take action to come towards you to celebrate for some to reconcile. Yeah, somebody here wants to definitely make an offer to have... Um, like a new passionate beginning, something that could lead to a very serious commitment or partnership. Yeah, because someone sees the truth about something and their ships are coming in. Your ships are coming in as well. But this person has had to fight a lot. I don't know if this person was dealing with a lot of conflict in the workplace or with somebody that they um, were collaborating with. For some, this person could have been working with someone that they had a relationship with or that they had children with. Or it, it seems like this, this person has been very much tied to a family where their finances were also tied in. So like I said, this could be someone who was married or they were maybe in a relationship with someone. They could have had kids with this person. But I'm definitely seeing where someone could have been in a situation for quite some time where they were working with someone. So, you know, it may not have been that easy for this person to just leave a situation because it was a lot on the line. But I'm hearing banking on me like this person, they want <laughs> they want you to be able to depend on them. The Knight of Swords. Yeah, this person is rushing in. But with the Ten of Swords and the Five of Pentacles being here and the Justice card, this person coming towards you, it seems like they had to take a serious risk. And they've had to go through a lot. 
but they they're they're making this decision despite everything that they've had to go through because it's the love that you have or this caring nurturing heart that has this person really really just um I, i'm hearing like this person like they're intrigued by you you're like this person's muse with this hermit card they, they this person really studies you and they have some type of plan or strategy to come towards you. I feel like this person has been working a lot on their own security and stability with the nine of pentacles being out here. Okay. This person, maybe you're someone who's very self-sufficient, abundant. Um, and this person, like I said, they could have had some financial challenges with the five of pentacles here. The ten of, of swords, something in their life could have ended. They could have had some type of legal situation, whether it was a custody battle, um, a, a pending... Um, settlement or divorce or anything but this person i don't feel like they really wanted to present themselves to you until they know for a sure fact that they could meet you exactly where you are and perhaps match you so this person i feel like they gather information on you and they study you they this person is not going to let you know how much they study you but they they really do pay a lot of attention to how you create how you manifest and you know what you are working towards in your life this person they see themselves having the ten of pentacles with you but it's like they already know that you have already manifested a lot on your own as the nine of pentacles this is someone who doesn't really want to be a burden to you so now it's like they're dropping all of their baggage and burden so that they can come towards you to offer you a serious commitment but there is something happening in this person's environment for sure the five of wands, the five of swords, and the three of pentacles. I feel strongly that this has something to do with someone that this person works with or works for. There's some type of conflict here. This person is holding on to something or they're being held on by something or someone. It's almost like... um. Patience is needed here because it's like, I don't know... It's, it's so many different things coming to mind. Like this person, they're being held back by something. And I don't think that whatever they're going through is something in their environment. They're not telling you about it. I think that it's not them trying to be like, it's not necessarily bad or malicious intentions. I just don't think that this person wants to scare you because they are a bit intimidated and they can see that you're the son. You have Victor on your own. This person's coming to you with their heart. Hmm. You may be the one that has the coins and they have the heart right now. But this person, they're, they're hoping that you will have patience with them as they go through the, the door to value. Someone here is waiting on something to change with their job or with their business or they're trying to get in a contract or out of a contract. Yeah, the Ace of Swords. They're waiting on this breakthrough. And here's the, the hangman. So, yeah, there's a delay here. And this just requires patience. This person is going to offer you a very passionate new beginning here. Something is going to, to definitely work in your favor, in this person's favor, but it's just taking time here. This person is invested in something and they're waiting on some type of payout or like I said, I don't know. It's a settlement. It's, it's definitely a decision though that it is pending something else. So if this person has kids, because I'm looking at the sun here, it could be a custody situation, a child support situation. It could be a divorce. Okay. This person could just be in a state in, in a period of their life right now where they are restarting. Okay, this person could have had a business venture or something that didn't go according to their plans and they're rebuilding. It's so many different things here, but you have the Ten of Cups here and the Ten of Pentacles with the Magician, the Wheel of Fortune. I mean, this is beautiful. Like this, for a lot of you, this is your other half. The Temperance being here, this is something that's divinely guided. It's full of, this person is extremely passionate about having everything with you but it's something right now like i said about their circumstances and conditions they may not be telling you everything but again it's because they don't want you to worry this person wants to 
protect and provide. They want to make sure that they can, they're the one that make you very happy, that they can give you this 10 of pentacles because most likely this is someone that if you were to speak with them as the divine feminine, as the empress here, the nine of pentacles, you already have everything or you're well on your way. They want to make sure that they're seen as the king of pentacles. Hmm. This actually is really good. It's very positive. I feel like this is someone who wants to be committed and devoted to you, but it is something that requires patience. What else? Yeah. Nine of Cups. Yeah. I mean, it's it's wish fulfillment. It's what you want and it's what they want. It just takes patience. Okay. So whatever this person is hiding with the moon here and the tower, it is going to come out. This person here is, is hiding something. There's somebody holding on to something that belongs to this person. This queen of pentacles here. Somebody here is being held back by a queen of pentacles. Now, we did see the king of pentacles. This could be someone's wife, ex-wife, the mother of their child here. Someone that they work for or work with. This also could be like some type of information about this person that they don't want to come out. But with the tower, there's going to be like some awakening here something is coming out the tower and the moon whatever someone has been holding on to or holding back they have to let it go this person also is someone who with this four of pentacles they could just be holding back the fact that they want to make this offer to you they want you to be the queen of pentacles yeah three of wands what you can expect here is equal give and take this person is coming in for sure with an offer. Again, it's just something that requires patience. Yeah, this person is going to take a leap of faith and come out of this stalemate situation. And they want to quickly go into like a union with you, a serious commitment. They're just at the end of their own road to dropping something in their life to make sure that the path is clear. This is someone here. This has come up before. Like this person wants to do things the right way. They really do. They want to make sure that they have a fully, just a clean slate here. This person is making plans for you. Okay. But the devil is here. Now, none of the cards in this deck is in the reverse, but this card is in the reverse. So with the two of pentacles being here in the reverse, I feel like there is some type of situation here that has had this person in their head a lot. They're putting an end to this. They're putting an end to this instability here. If this person was juggling more than one person or situation or living any type of double life or hiding something from you, I feel like they are apologetic for this and they're going to come towards you and let you know that like they really want to move forward. Again, some of you guys, this could be someone from the past or this could be someone that's fairly new in your life and you just haven't taken this you know, situation to the next level. But someone does not want this to be a missed opportunity. Not at all. Like this, this person actually wants, I'm hearing this person wants forever with you. The three of cups. Yeah. And the hierophant. <laughs> this person is praying about you. They, they want it all. For sure. I mean, there's no doubt about it. And this, for some of you, this is someone that is fairly new in your life or it's a friend, okay? Um, it, it could be a lover that's returning. This isn't someone that you have a bad past or any bad blood with. And this person, what they're trying to do is ensure that you don't ever get to that point. This person wants to make sure that your connection is not toxic. So anything that is surrounding them that could, could pose like an issue for the two of you, they're trying to eliminate that. It's not trying, like they're making sure. Really, this person is trying to protect you from something that they know is in their life or their environment. This could be someone too who maybe right now, like they, they have debt. They could have filed for bankruptcy or something like that. They could be waiting for something to fall off of their credit report. I feel like this person wants to perhaps be able to move in with you, travel with you or something like that. And they're just at a standstill right now with the two of swords like this person they want to travel they want to live with you provide they want to do all these things but something why is this two of swords here 
something has them delayed. Yeah, look, the two of swords clarified by the ten of wands. Is this person trying to get over a heartbreak? Because the four of cups is here with the with the queen of wands. This person may have someone from their past that is really, really just creating a lot of different situations for this person, making it difficult for them to move on. This is something that could have happened in their past. Like I said, for some people, you're dealing with someone who has an, an ex-spouse that they could possibly share children with that is really trying to create obstacles and challenges for this person to move forward. For some people, that these, these individuals, they may have worked together at some point. Also, when you just have history with the person, it's almost like this person is being challenged or blackmailed by someone from their past. This doesn't really give me the vibes of like it's a, it's currently a third party situation. It seems like this masculine is recovering, though, from a situation with someone from their past. This person also could could just be a little bit. Um, traumatized this person may still be carrying some emotional baggage from this situation this feels like the type of person who maybe had given up on love until they met you and i feel like they went through something that was so bad in the past with another person that like they may not have really been open to offering you the love that you deserve but this person, like, they feel that the two of you are destined. So this this person is coming. I just heard coming out, coming out my body for you. This person, <laughs> they don't play about you. You make this person feel a way that nobody else can. Yeah, this person, they're still overcoming a heartbreak here. There it is, the emperor and the three of swords. They're still trying to get over some type of heartbreak. But they love you. Or they care deeply for you. They want to make you an offer of some type of stable new beginning. But right now they're planning a way to make this move. They are going to take action though. Wow. They're very serious about you. Very. King of Swords. And I feel like this is someone like the King of Swords and the Queen of Swords is here now. So this is someone who they just know that there's absolutely no way that you're going to accept less than what you deserve. They know that. The Page of Swords and the King of Pentacles is here with the High Priestess. So you have the King and Queen of Swords here, the Page of Swords and the King of Pentacles. Some of you, it's like you're being watched by more than one person. It's like a person here wants to come in and make you a serious offer. And I feel strongly like this person, they know that there is another person in your energy or about to be in your energy. And this is really lit a fire under this person's butt. So if this person was in another situation um, or they have not been able to let go of a situation energetically, emotionally or whatever. And they were, you know, not really offering you what you wanted. This person is now seeing that. There's another person here who was taking very great interest in you that you could have a very, very strong connection with, actually. And this has this person ready to, like, really just blow the whistle and take action to make you this offer here. Now, because you have at least four different people here now in this energy, you have to be very discerning here because I don't like the fact, like, I'm picking up the energy of someone who seems very sincere, but it also seems like this person, whether they're someone old or new, because you could have someone in your life right now who's fairly new, right? Who hasn't really been putting their best foot forward with you. Now, if you have a person from your past that's coming back, this may light a fire under this person's butt like, wait, wait a minute. If I don't hurry up and make a move, this person could possibly go back to someone from their past. Just as well as someone from your past may notice that you're dealing with someone new and they could be trying to come back. You guys just have multiple people that are fighting over you right now. Divine Feminine, you have several people that are fighting 
to have like a, a new beginning with you. And it feels like to me, all of these people, like they have to make these drastic changes to be with you. So it's sort of like, well, may the best man, best woman win because this is sort of out of your control. It's like you're destined to have this happiness, whatever this soul contract is, this commitment. But it's really just may the best may the best person win because one person here is is trying to rush in towards you because you have a very strong connection with someone here. With the high priestess being next to the strength card, you have a really, really strong connection here. The king of swords, the queen of swords. Okay. Yeah. And then you have this king of pentacles here. These two people, something is different about, about these two people. I feel like one person may be more well off financially than the other, but one of these people you can really trust. And so you're, you're trying to make a decision as to which person you may want to be with. But I can see how it can be difficult because this one person here who may not be in the best position financially, but you trust them. And the other person, this King of Pentacles, is probably like, well, hey, I can come in and offer a certain type of lifestyle, but you don't really trust that person. So you're gonna make you're gonna have to make a choice based on what you know is going to be best for for your life and, and your future. And you shouldn't base it on anything that's just surface level. There's two, if there's at least two people in your energy and they are aware of the other, that there's a serious battle going on right now for a divine feminine. Yeah, Ace of Cups and the Page of Wands. Someone here is taking action to offer this, this cup of love here. And I feel like someone now, they, they're constantly thinking about this, daydreaming, fantasizing, okay? But someone also is ghosting a lot of their options right now because they want to protect this connection that they want so badly with you. But here you have the King of Cups and the King of Wands. It, it's constantly two people coming out. The Six of Wands, only one person, though, is going to be able to remove themselves from all of the conflict, the chaos, the competition, and everything surrounding them to be able to come towards you. You may feel like all is lost in the situation, but it's not. Spirit is saying don't continue to cry over spilled milk because you are moving on to peaceful, calmer waters. There's a chapter with a particular way of thinking or a person from your, your past, most likely, that's over, Okay. Now, when you see a, a chapter has closed or a cycle has closed, for some people, this could be someone that you are familiar with from your past. The cycle of toxicity is over and you and this person could have a brand new start. For some of you, there's a situation with someone or people from your past. It's completely over. It's null and void. It's time for you to rest and retreat. Allow this transformation to happen so that new love can come in. And it's time for you to manifest the love that's going to come in that you can move forward with someone who's really going to respect you, value you for being this very strong, independent, like spiritual being. OK, because you're calling judgment right now on anything that is going to be like hot and cold, anything that's in and out that is only based on, like I said, surface level things or only passion. Like you're calling judgment on that situation. The divine is calling judgment on that because it's like spirit really wants you to go into a very serious, sacred type of connection now. So any person that's not leading with true love, who's not being very open and, and honest with you they're not going to make it with you anyway so you don't have to overthink this situation which is it's funny because the divine feminine energy showed up very strongly here like you're being chosen by more than one person but you don't have to do much work here at all you really don't have to do anything you have several people having very, very romantic thoughts about you. And these individuals are all trying to figure out the best way to create more value for you. Whether you have someone that knows that they need to offer you 
more quality time or someone that knows that they need to get their finances together these masculines right now are really trying to figure out what exactly does it take for them to have victory and success with this divine feminine and they're studying you yeah the ten of cups you're being like there's a divine feminine here who is absolutely being chosen for marriage commitment family like you're being Someone is looking at you as the ultimate wish fulfillment. Like you're the the sunshine of their life at this point. Wow. Tell me more about this. Wow, the emperor. Here we have it. The emperor, the king of wands. Could definitely be an Aries. Fire sign. This person is coming in to work with you and collaborate. Here's the lover's card and the, the six of cups with the nine of cups. All right. So you have a choice between going towards someone that is from your past or you going towards someone that you know is going to bring you the ultimate wish fulfillment. Okay. The six of cups is a past energy. That's someone that you, you have history with. So, you know, be careful because some of you right now, especially with Mercury retrograde, you may be feeling very nostalgic. Okay, reminiscing about the past, but there's also something being presented here with as you focus more on loving yourself, growing and evolving and healing, you're also manifesting someone that is going to give you exactly what you need, what you want, what you desire, and you don't have to work for it. With this Six of Cups energy, this is a connection that you've already probably had to work on a lot. And I feel that maybe some of you, you are afraid to go into it again, even though perhaps a cycle of toxicity could have closed. Something here, there's an element of fear and distrust where you're, you've gone through so much with this person or there's been so much left unknown and unsaid that some of you would much rather just move on to something brand new where there's a clean slate, even if you have to be more patient with it. Because it's like the emperor is here and the king of wands. For, this is like the six of cups, nine of cups. The king of wands, I feel like you have a lot of passion for someone. Perhaps this is someone from your past. The nine of cups, though, is the actual divine masculine. So for some of you, you're, you're moving away from that energy of that knight of wands, king of wands energy. They're in and out. It's hot. It's fiery. It's passionate. And you're wanting to go towards your actual counterpart, the person that can be your life part, who you can really do life with, who you can have. It can be smooth sailing with this person. Six of swords. Yeah. You're going to have to trust your intuition. Your intuition is, is letting you know here. Yeah. The judgment. Wow. The death card and the tower. Whoa. So this is major. This is a major closing of a cycle. The high priestess, the judgment, death and the tower. These are all majors. Four of pentacles. It's like when, when you're with one person, you're still thinking about another person. And keep in mind, for some of you, this could be a past person or a new person. Some of you, you have a new person in your life, but you're still reflecting on the past person because of feeling very nostalgic. You know, that's what Mercury Retrograde will, will do. But also, for some of you, it's like it's a situation where you're just needing to disconnect. To allow yourself to experience something new or for some of you, you need to realize that maybe you really do want to be with that person from the past. Because it's definitely giving me the vibes that someone here is for sure feeling torn between more than one person. If this isn't you, this could be one of these masculines. They're with somebody else, but they're constantly thinking about you and they know they don't have a choice but to make a move towards you. But they have to make a move towards you to offer you like serious commitment. Not, oh, I'm just going to come in during Mercury Retrograde and you have a fun little rendezvous and then they run off, you know, in a few weeks. No. And the chariot car was here too. So this is all about, you know, next year, who are you wanting to build your life with? Next year being the number, the year of the number seven, 2023, who do you want to move forward and have victory, success and rewards with and recognition? Who exactly can you walk through this door to value with? And it has to be with someone who's holding their heart, someone who's willing to be open, honest, transparent. They're willing to lead with love. This person has to be very, very honest. 
in order for the two of you to have a, a strong, like, unbreakable type of connection here. Otherwise, it's just, yeah, being very discontent, bored, feeling like you're missing opportunities, going back to this wounded warrior type of energy. And that's what I'm saying about dealing with someone, for some of you from the past, there is that passion and that chemistry there, but it's like as soon as you have that, that fun time or moment, you go quickly back to the reality that th there's a lot of stress in this situation and you've gone through so much that, yeah, it's like once you come out of the illusion here, you're no longer confused about the fact that somebody here really isn't a good match for you. And it's time for this cycle to be over the wheel of fortune. Yeah. But someone definitely, I feel like they constantly come in to breadcrumb you with the page of pentacles and the seven of pentacles, making these small offers and gestures to work on something with you. But this is rooted in codependency. And then you have another person here, the knight of cups, who's coming in with the ace of pentacles. Okay. So yeah, it's like you have a knight of cups and a knight of pentacles. This Knight of Cups person, they come in with the Ace of Pentacles. That's a secure, stable offer. But then you have this person here that comes in with a small offer, you know, and, and I feel like you, you keep turning your back to this person. They keep coming towards you and they create these illusions, okay? And again, it's like once you experience, it, it's really like an addiction here. And this is the toxic pattern that you're needing to recognize here and draw that line in the sand so that you can have that breakthrough when you have that back and forth type of situation with some people, you become addicted to the highs and lows of it. You, they come in and then you're left wondering, well, what's going to happen this time? Are they going to offer commitment? And then they don't. They run off. They come back and you just keep doing this run or chaser thing. A lot of you now, you're ready to finally close that chapter of your life out completely with this person and, and start a contract with someone that's going to come in right away. They know for a sure fact that this is a sure thing that they want to offer you the ace of pentacles it's like you need to stop allowing yourself to have all of this stress fear and anxiety and and allowing all of this deception to happen with this toxic cycle because you're a divine feminine and you are someone's ultimate wish yeah two of wands someone here is for sure making the, the decision to take action on having a brand new passion beginning with you here's the two of wands the fool and the two of cups with the star and the empress, this is someone saying, yeah, I know you're the one. There's no doubt about it. They know you're the one. It doesn't matter what it looks like or how it starts out. Somebody and the person that really knows that you're the one, they're going to show you. I, there's not going to be any denying it. And for some of you, like I said, this is a person that's in your life. They're trying to get things together in the background to make sure that when they present themselves to you, they can present you with the ace of pentacles. This person is like, you know, you could have met this person simply by chance. It was a chance and faded meeting, but they see themselves growing old with you. Like they don't plan to ever let you go. You are this person's divine feminine or masculine. Take it however you are this person's other half. That's truly how they feel. They may be juggling things in their life right now, trying to create, you know, the right environment for you, but they will be victorious in this because their heart is in the right place. The Hierophant. This is someone here who, like I said, this person is praying to God about you. They're cleaning up their act. They're, they're making plans just for you. This If this person was juggling, especially with another person or just juggling because of finances or whatever, they're putting an end to all of that. And honestly, the divine is coming in, making sure that like there is a way made out of no way for you and someone to come together. But there's a strong, like, karmic situation here that you have to eliminate, whether it's someone currently in your life or someone from your past. Something is blocking you from going towards the person that you can really build a life with. And it'll it'll be different for everyone, because I'm not going to sit here and say that a person from the past is always bad because people, they do change. But for some of you, it really doesn't matter how much a person from your past has changed. Some of you have gone through so much to the point now that it's such a traumatic experience for you. You just can't allow yourself to see that. That you and this person can have victory together. So if you want to move forward to something new, I say move forward. 
because what's meant to be is going to be even if you you move away from this person from the past but it's like right now i feel that you have to be very certain about your decision to move away from any person in your life that no longer serves you 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 can't you know keep looking back you're gonna have to make the decision that you're completely done with this Don't let your boyfriend or your girlfriend hold you back from your your forever person. A lot of people are in karmic situations and it's stopping you from being with your actual divine counterpart. Because like I said, it's the devil is here. It's rooted in codependency. It's constantly the warner chaser dynamic. A lot of people, you know, some people speak about the, the twin flame journey or whatever, but you're not meant to go your entire life hanging on by a thread trying to figure out if someone is going to pick you that's just my my take on this a lot of people do want actual life partnerships and keeping yourself stuck and stagnant waiting on a person every few months to come in and communicate with you or whatever only to run off and leave you with, with those pieces that that's what creates a lot of trauma for people it's like you, you have PTSD and it affects all of your other relationships because you have so many issues with trusting. You don't trust yourself and you don't trust any offer that's being presented to you because you will begin to think that every time a person expresses interest in you, it's only a matter of time before they leave you. So you have to know, are you dealing with a twin flame or a soulmate or are you dealing with someone that's very karmic that is just teaching you the importance of why you need to be willing to leave certain people and situations alone when they show you time and time again that they don't really value you because you definitely have a person here who has picked something else over you and they're rushing back in now because something or someone else is taking their spot forgiveness forgiving yourself or another will help you to move forward yeah, forgive yourself and forgive this person, whoever it is, but don't let it hold you back anymore. Release. Exactly. Radical acceptance and surrender can help you to let go. You're going to have to accept this situation for what it is. And here it is again. Acceptance. Everything happens for a reason. Your true love is already a part of your life. Whether it's someone that's fairly new, could be a friend, someone you've been casually dating, or it could be someone from your past, you know, and someone from your past, it doesn't have to be the one that the first, this spirit is saying, it's not the first person that comes to your mind for a lot of you, because a lot of you, the first person that comes to mind is the person that you have the most history with, that you have told yourself is your twin flame. They could be your twin flame, or they really could just be like a past life karmic soulmate. And you, you're not going to ever get off of this back and forth wheel with this person until you value yourself enough to walk away from it and accept that this was a lesson for some of you and it wasn't meant to be a lifetime. Yeah, you are safe and divinely guided. You have a relationship that's coming in though that can stand the test of time, but you and this person are going through a spiritual transformation and it says here, wait, the timing is not quite right. And I said that earlier, patience. There's something very beautiful coming in. But for some of you, this is a new love coming in. Whether you know this person or not, this person is coming in to do things with you the right way. Or it could be a past person coming in with new energy. But the only, the, the best way, I guess like the, the main thing to look at here is the effort and the consistency. Yeah, new love, and then you have here regret. A new love or a recommitment to love is developing, and someone feels remorse for the way that they treated you. Like I said, for some of you, you have new love here, and you have a person who is feeling regretful about how they did you. They're trying to get you to recommit to them. And as I said before, for some of you, you could be dealing with a person that has financial challenges, but then you could be dealing with someone who doesn't have financial challenges, but they don't have the integrity that you're looking for in a, in a partner. So you have to really pick what you want to move forward. For some of you, you may say that you, you're not interested in either of these people. 
And that's fine too. Don't ever be afraid to, to go back to the drawing board and manifest exactly what you want. But you know, a, a person's like circumstances and conditions is something that can change. Look at a person's character. If you're dealing with someone right now, if, if they, you know, are going through a, a divorce, a breakup, emotionally they're releasing some things or they even have financial challenges, that's something that can change. But when you deal with a person and you know for a sure fact that their morals and values are not aligned with yours, there's no amount of money in the world that's going to make you and that person happy. So you're going to have to be able to detach to see the truth about this situation here. Because for some of you, you or the person that you're dealing with or someone that's trying to connect with you are in denial about the fact that whatever the two of you currently have, it's not enough for you to have a balanced, happy, healthy, peaceful and harmonious life partnership where you can actually go through ups and downs and still be okay. So I would say, especially if both of these people are in your life, think about the person that constantly runs in and runs out and then look and see if one of these people has, because I feel like what I'm getting here is you have a person that they have the type of integrity. If they don't, if they can't offer you what, what you need or what you want, they'll let you go. That's the one who isn't selfish. Whereas you have a person that could possibly give you everything that you want, but they just refuse to do it. However, they'll come in and out of your life. And this person is having a very difficult time with accepting the fact that now, for a lot of you, this is a past person that you're moving forward. You don't want anything to do with them. They're really struggling with that. And I pick up this person feels very cocky because this could definitely be someone who may be older than you or they may be doing well for themselves financially. But this person also could be married or in a committed relationship because there's something that keeps this person tied, a situation that keeps this person tied where they, they never come in and fully commit to you. And I really don't see that for some it may change, but for a lot of people it won't. These, a lot of these people who are like that, they, they find new ways to try and trick you to get you to stay in these cycles with them. So they just present themselves a little bit differently to you, but their intentions don't change. So just be careful with that because somebody here definitely carries a trickster like energy. They're trying to bamboozle you so that you don't move forward. Yeah, you have a new chapter in your life. A new chapter is developing for you where there's a fresh start where you get to create a safe place with someone that you do share the same morals and values with. None of these situations, you guys, are going to be perfect. And that's why I said at the very beginning, it's a journey. When you really are going to spend your life with someone, it's like you're going to get to know one another, but you have to be with the person that truly wants to invest in you, who wants to learn you and grow and evolve and heal. That person has to respect the, the true essence of who you are as a person. I can't look at you just for what they think they can get out of you because someone here wants to be in a connection with you and it's, it's out of, of some type of selfish gain and out of convenience. It's, it's not based on like love. I'm not saying that they don't care about you, but they just have hidden motives. You have here very soon, very soon be clear about what you want. Because something here is happening for you very quickly. I said yesterday in the reading, all you have to do is say, yes, you just need to be clear about what you want. Patience. A lot of patience is out here. Something is just happening in divine timing. But you've been patiently waiting for this. So very soon it's coming. It's like, it's kind of like God is just like, okay, I have for you what you want. Just tell me what it is. Yeah. And it's a new chapter. Okay. A new chapter. And some of you, you may be receiving some type of exciting news. Someone could be moving, relocating. There could be a pregnancy, an engagement. You and someone may decide to move in together. 
You may take your relationship to the next level. The holidays are coming. You and someone may decide that you want to meet each other's mutual friends or family or something like that, you know, and it's just something is to me, you guys, this feels like spirit is really nudging you to go for the new love. I'm just going to be honest with what I'm getting here. A past person can come back to you in new energy. Absolutely. But for the majority of you, this is spirit really saying, allow yourself to start a new chapter something that you can be excited about and you're not looking over your shoulder there's a person in your energy that you will always have to look over your shoulder with this person i'm seeing like you're always what was that card um gonna feel the need to look over your shoulder you're gonna be concerned about who they have children with is the other person in their life from their past are they doing magic on you it's just a lot of unnecessary worry when you may meet someone, and like I said, everything in their life may not be paid, may not be perfect, but with patience, what this is, is like constantly trying to rebuild the same thing over and over again. You, it's like for some of you, what I'm saying is like, you're constantly trying to build this, this structure of this house, but there's a crack in the foundation that no matter what you do, there's always going to be a tower. You have a situation that's being presented to you now where you can build the foundation however you want. So even when a tower comes and knocks it down, the foundation is always strong. And that takes time and patience. But I feel like it's worth it. You have harvest here. You planted the seed that the universe gave you. Due to your patience and growth, you are now able to enjoy the fruits of your labor. What For a lot of you, the people in your past or various situations, even with your friends, your family, you know, your jobs or whatever, it has prepared you now to know exactly how to create the right foundation for yourself. And whoever you are connecting with or reconnecting with, They've learned the same lessons. That's what I'm saying. Your your morals and values with this person are in alignment. And that's what's the most important. This is someone who knows that like they maybe they've been betrayed or they betrayed someone. This is you and someone both do. I feel who you both have had to go through like karma, both good and bad. You learn from the things that you didn't do. And you learn from things that you did do correctly and incorrectly so when you and this person come together it's just easy for the two of you to have that good synergy there's a person that keeps trying to come into your life or come back you don't have good synergy with this person something about this person is off-putting when you get past the the fun and the flirting there's no commitment it's chemistry and connection and that's it if you want more than that, this is a time where you're going to have to really just cut that out because there's a situation here where you know you're always going to be giving more than the other person, especially when it comes to healing. And it's mostly a strictly sexual relationship, something that's being, you know, that you have in it. It's about convenience. You know how some of these people are. And you That's my twin flame. They come to you when they're into it with, with the, the other person, you know. They feed off of your energy and then they leave. Your commitment to yourself is being tested now. It's just time for you to say goodbye to a, a karmic cycle, a karmic person, a karmic way of thinking. That's what this new moon in Capricorn is about. Manifesting what you truly want. But to manifest what you want for it to come in soon... You're going to have to be gentle, patient, and kind with yourself and see the importance of you just letting go and believing in the impossible. You have to know that you can have exactly what you want. And for some of you, you may find yourself wanting to really just, you know, cut the cords and walk away from anyone that's in your energy right now and just really start over. And there's nothing wrong with that either. I mean, it says your your person is already a part of your life. That could be someone that you've never had a, a romantic relationship with, though. It says surrender to the divine. Yeah, believe in the impossible and surrender to the divine. You and your loved ones are safe. So something here is it's all good. Be bold and make the first move. Okay. 
prosperity lies ahead. We have Cancer and Taurus out here right now. South Node, wow, don't let your, your past hold you back. A new romantic cycle is beginning, Libra. Okay? So for some of you, this is saying your past, you need to let it go. There's a new romantic cycle in your life that's beginning that will have prosperity. Now, um, with prosperity lies ahead, like I said, you could be dealing with the person right now and they could be starting over rebuilding. Or this could be you. But in due time, you and this person, you will have a beautiful harvest together. Why? Because this is someone that comes towards you with their actual heart. They're in alignment with you. So the connection will be blessed. Whatever you feel like you may not have or whatever doubts or fears you have about this person or that they have about you, because the two of you, you have the same morals and values and you both want the same things, things will somehow just miraculously work out. There are certain people in your life you will notice that it never works out no matter what you do and that's because it's just not meant to. It's a lesson there and it's not meant to be a lifetime. And you're going to have to really wake up to this and see it for what it truly is. Because right now, going into this new year, there's some things and some people that cannot go with you. And honestly, if it seems like if you are refusing to let go of things, it's going to be ripped away from you. <laughs> it's like a, a, a forced ending here. All right. So, you guys, I hope that this gave you a little bit of clarity and insight. Okay, for those of you who may be, you know, trying to make decisions about, you know, friendships or relationships. For everyone, this may not be a romantic situation. This could be, you know, a friend, a family member, or whomever. But you guys, you, you have, you're you at the crossroads right now where you have a lot of past energies coming in at the same time as new energies. People are fighting over you energetically and you're going to have to choose what's best for you.